Hi. Last lesson in this unit, which means test tomorrow. Okay. We've actually already talked about Ramses II. Oops, sorry. We've actually ta already talked about Ramses II. Do you remember the Egyptian Hittite War? Oops. Yeah. Ramses II is considered the greatest pharaoh of Egyptian history. Um, yes, it's an opinion, I know, but I didn't give him that name. Um, Ramses takes over, okay? And then he starts building everything. He is like obsessed with monuments and like leaving his mark. He is known as the great builder. He builds a ton of monuments and temples and I mean, Things in his own name. He built something called the Ramazeum. Ramazeum. That's just crazy. Um, well, it's actually not if you're king, I guess, but I just think it's funny. What if I built a building? It was called the Sherilinazeum. Like, oh, conceited. But I mean, I get it if you're a pharaoh. That being said, Ramses has a pretty big empire too. Um, he has moved up into Mesopotamia. He's the one that whole fights the Hittites, battle Kadesh, all that good stuff. Um, some of his, oh, looky there. There's the Ramesseum. Is it spelled right here for you? Yeah, it's little, but it's right there. Ramesseum. I just think it's funny. Um, he builds all of these colossal statues. Guys, these are like giant statues usually of him. Um, Colossal statues, huge statues. I used to have a lot of pictures that I used to show. Um, oops. I don't really show them that much anymore, but since I'm online, it's easy to show you. Yeah, this is actually one of the pictures that I used to show. Okay, look. That's not really what I wanted. Did I click on that? I thought I clicked on the one with the people. Here we go. That's what I was going for. Uh, these are colossal statues. That's a person. Whoa. Um, some of these things are so big, you can't put them, like stand them up. I think they're funny. But Ramses, yeah, the great builder. He also is responsible for this. Um, it's called Abu Simbel, or a lot of the time you'll hear people say, um, how do they say it? Uh, Abu Simbel. Oh, I didn't put it up here. Well, okay. Um, A-B-U-S-I-M-B-E-L. You should have mentioned this or talked about this or whatever last year in geography. This is the one, if you did talk about it, that had to actually be moved. The entire like temple mountain structure was moved, cut into pieces and moved in the 70s. Isn't that cool? They did it because there was a dam. Is this familiar? There was a dam that was going to be like, and the water was going to flood it. I think it's cool. But it's a temple. Okay. And out here you have more colossal statues. This one fell. Every year kids are like, why don't we fix it? No, no. You don't, you don't fix something like that. It stays this way. Why? I don't really know why. It stays the way it was. I don't have a reason for you. I just know from a historical point of view, no, don't fix it, leave it. You want to, at this point, keep it looking this way. We don't want it to get worse and more rundown, but you don't change it. You let things happen the way they happened, and then, okay? Um, a little bit of an up close. So you can see these colossal statues. Um, I mean, the door is huge. He built this temple for him, like cut inside the mountain. And then the smaller temple. Oh, come on. Okay. So that right there was an up close of this temple right here. And then the smaller temple over here was for one of his wives. There we go. You have gods and goddesses here. 
again, just cut right inside the rock. Here's a little bit of an inside, like the main entrance. And there's some other pictures um, of the inside of Upper Simbel that like you can see some of the pictures of the inside that people have taken. It looks like you can't go to a lot of places in Abu Simbel. It says inside the temple. But to me, because there's so few pictures, I don't think you can go into a lot of it. So you can see size, amen. Yeah, most of these pictures are all that same walkway. Yeah. So anyway, he built some pretty big monuments. That's Abu Simbel. This is Ramses the second. There was some drama with his mummy. Um, when we found his tomb, is it KJ-55? Or K KV, sorry, 55? I think it's number 55 was his tomb. Can't remember. Kings Valley 5. Kings Valley 5. Is that it? Ramsey's King, Kings Valley 5. So not 55. 5. Okay, look at this sucker. Y'all. Nope, that's Akhenaten's. Remember Akhenaten? Here we go. Okay. Look at this. Dude, look at this tomb. Look at this. All of these are chambers, you guys. All of them. His body wasn't in there. His body had already been taken. It had already been looted. Most of his son's bodies weren't in there. Basically, it was empty. And then his mummy was found. His mummy was found kind of randomly by accident. Um, there's like this, I can't remember what it's called, but there's this like city of the robbers or whatever, where people used to, not anymore, hopefully, but like people used to loot tombs, right? And they're, I mean, they would like keep things hidden, but taken care of as well, like up in the caves above the city. That's where his body was found whole bunch of mummies were in there. They were like keeping them, protecting them. So they were like robbers, but they were also protecting, which is really kind of, I don't know, weird and cool at the same time. But Ramses' mummy, oh, it's just a beautiful mummy. It's a great example. Um, look at his hair. You still have hair here. And his hair was kind of dyed, kind of a reddish color. Ramses, he was like 80 something. Um, he had like 120 kids. I'm not making this up. He had like 50 wives or something. I mean, he lived like twice as long as people like typically lived back then. And people were just like amazed by him. He's not a sweet, lovely guy. I've told y'all, sometimes some of the best kings are some of the meanest people. True story with him. Ooh, let me pause this. The dogs go into the bed. Okay. It's okay. Jack's sister is at the vet. And I am covered with dog hair. Okay, let's finish this bad boy. Freya, baby, come here. All the dogs are freaking out. Because Sophie's gone. It's okay. It's okay. Okay, so. This mummy. Just gorgeous. This mummy, 
Um, if I remember right, I think they said that it was left in the ground in the nature pit for about 60 days to ensure that Ramsey's got his afterlife. He's such a big deal. Um, oh, I was talking about his hair. That's it. His hair's dyed a slight reddish color. Um, you see, Ramses did, his whole family had a hooked nose, um, but it was broken. And there were some like, some kind of flower or pollen or something stuck up in his nose to like fluff it back up. Um, I mean, he really was like in his eighties or something. So he was an old man when he died. That being said, this, I like this picture because you can see his hair better. You're like, that's not red, it's blonde. I know, but it's kind of a strawberry blonde. And again, you can just see, shows his hair, his profile a little bit better. This shows you, I mean, profile again, but you can kind of see more like straight on. He was an old guy, especially for back then. 80? Man, you're living a long time if it's 80. And you know how I told you that if we have a body, a mummy, a skull or whatever that is really, really well preserved, remember what I told you we can do? We can put it into that computer program and we can see what he would have actually looked like. Well, you want to see? Now remember, he was old. All right. There he is. Ramses II. Considered to be the greatest pharaoh of Egypt. The best builder. Strong warrior. And I only showed you two things. The Ramesseum and Abu Simbel. He built a lot of other things. Um, Ramses. Building achievements. Oh, yeah. I was looking for just like a listing. This is a name you should remember. Yeah, I was looking for just a listing. And maybe there is somewhere in here, but I'm not going to read this whole thing. But, I mean, if you just see a listing of all the things that he built, colossal statues everywhere, just a lot of stuff. That being said, <clears throat> we have one more pharaoh we need to deal with. Oops. Her name is Hat Shep Soot. Did you hear what I said just now? Bet you missed it. Her name is her. Are females allowed to be pharaoh? Well, there were some. Um, you know Cleopatra. She's the most famous, or you know that you already know. Um, Hatshepsut, however, is the first female pharaoh. Um, when when she like depicted herself in statues and stuff, though she often would wear in a statue like the beard of the pharaoh because it was still a man's world girls i'm sorry i'm not being rude i'm a girl too get it, it sucks it's the way it is it was still a man's world so a lot of the time even though she was a female um she would <clears throat> she would have herself depicted with the male uh, the what is it the male beard on statues and stuff but this right here, if I can hit the right button, is a statue of Hatshepsut, female pharaoh. And she was actually pretty good. Um, 
I mean, she's not a great ruler, except there was a lot of war going on before she like took over and she brings some peace. She brings some trade. So that's good. She rules for a really long time. So that's good. She also builds this. This is called, did I put it in your notes? Dier L, I did. Dier L Bahri. Bahri. Dier El Bahri. Um, what does it stand for? I used to know what it translates to. I don't anymore. But Dier El Bahri is this temple like cut into the rock. Like that's the mountain. Mountain. Like it's cut into the rock. It's this temple kind of off of the Valley of the Kings. See? I mean, you can see how it just comes from the rock. It's really, I just think it's amazing. I think it's beautiful. And again, you can kind of see size with the people. It's a temple. There isn't a roof. It's not like it broke or anything. I can't switch pictures again. It drives me crazy. I feel like sometimes it's worse than others. And it has definitely been worse than other times. With this Egyptian thing. See, I can't switch pictures. There we go. Now I'll switch pictures. I want you to see Hatshepsut. I spelled her name wrong. That's okay. I'll fix it. I wanted you to see a picture of her. Hatshepsut. She's supposed to be in the image of um, Osiris there. Hatshepsut with the men's beard. Hatshepsut with the man's beard. So um, she's quite often depicted in art with the male beard. I was just looking up here. Okay, looking to see if I saw her mummy. Her mummy. There it is. Um, let me look at, I don't remember the date. Nineteen oh three. I can't. Did you see that? The king herself. Yeah, her stepson, Tutmos the third. As soon as like she dies and he takes over. There she is. He's like a warmonger. He goes to war like crazy. That's actually a really good up close picture. Um, because whenever you look at this, it's kind of hard to see. It's like, what's going on here? This is Hatshepsut's mummy. Yeah. But this is a great picture. In fact, I might steal this picture. Oh, I can't. Ugh. This right here. Wow, that's a beautiful picture. Um, she has this stuff stuck in her nose because of the breakage. Okay, it's supposed to still get, give her the... Um, I don't know, illusion of a good profile. Well, let's see what else is down here. Nothing. Dear Bahari. 21 year reign. Some of the inside. I wanted to see if there was another picture. Oh, look. In this picture, she's depicted female. And in this picture, she has her male beard. See? I was hoping that they would have a picture of her with like the um, computer generated thing. This is a great picture of Dier al-Bahari down here. 
the Valley of the Kings. Okay, I was like, what? This is her wet nurse. Look at that hair in the background. That's not Hatshepsut. This over here is Hatshepsut. This says, um, underneath it, it says it's her wet nurse. That's Hatshepsut. Hmm. But I was hoping for a computer-generated picture of her because I haven't ever seen one. But I do have a description of what she really looked like in real life. Um, as I said, I have not seen a picture where they have taken Hatshepsut's body or face and re-whatevered her to make her look real. Maybe because she doesn't seem to be or have been that flattering in real life. Um, she was short, so am I. Um... She just wasn't overly cute. You have to remember that a lot of these Egyptians, especially the rulers, there's incest involved. So, you know, so that's probably part of it. But Hatshepsut <clears throat> becomes the first female pharaoh. And then of course, other female pharaohs will come after. Again, the most famous being Cleopatra. Um, but we'll deal with her when we get to Rome. She causes all kinds of problems for those Roman guys. Hey, guess what? That's the status. Test tomorrow. Bye. Where's my thing? Oh, it's up here. Bye.